In 2008, the world of football witnessed something truly extraordinary. A young man from Madeira, Portugal, was about to rewrite the record books, dominate the Premier League and etch his name into footballing history. Cristiano Ronaldo wasn't just good, he was unstoppable. This was the season where a rising star became the best player in the world. From jaw-dropping free kicks to game-changing goals in the Champions League, Ronaldo's 2007-2008 campaign with Manchester United was pure magic. But how did Ronaldo go from a flashy winger to the most feared attacker in Europe? What were the key moments that defined his season? And how did he carry Manchester United to Premier League and Champions League glory? In this video we'll dive deep into the stats, the goals, the glory, and the legacy of Ronaldo's unforgettable 2007-2008 season. Let's take a closer look at how Cristiano Ronaldo became the king of football. Cristiano Ronaldo's 2007-2008 season at Manchester United is widely regarded as one of the most dominant individual campaigns in football history. At just 23 years old, Ronaldo had already shown immense potential, but this was the year when he transcended that potential and became a global superstar. His performances were nothing short of sensational, as he carried Manchester United to both Premier League and Champions League glory. To understand how special this season was, let's step back for a moment. Ronaldo had joined Manchester United from Sporting Lisbon in 2003 as a young, raw talent. He had flair and speed, but consistency and decision-making were areas where he needed to improve. Under the guidance of Sir Alex Ferguson, Ronaldo's development was rapid. By 2007 he was already considered one of the most exciting talents in Europe. But it was the 2007-2008 season that catapulted him into the conversation of the world's best players. In the Premier League, Ronaldo was simply unstoppable. He scored an incredible 31 goals in 34 appearances, an astounding record for any player, let alone a winger. His ability to score from long-range strikes, headers, and free kicks made him a nightmare for defenders. He wasn't just scoring tap-ins, he was scoring goals that left spectators and opponents in awe. The highlight of his league campaign was undoubtedly his sensational free kick against Portsmouth. It was a goal that seemed to defy physics, dipping and swerving in mid-air in a way that left the goalkeeper rooted to the spot. That goal was a perfect encapsulation of Ronaldo's technical brilliance, which he honed through countless hours of practice on the training ground. His 31 Premier League goals earned him the golden boot, and his performances helped Manchester United win their 17th league title, finishing two points ahead of Chelsea. Ronaldo's influence on United's success was undeniable. His pace on the counter-attack, his ability to beat defenders with ease, and his lethal finishing made United one of the most dangerous teams in Europe. But Ronaldo's brilliance wasn't limited to the domestic league. He was just as impactful in the UEFA Champions League, scoring eight goals in 11 appearances. His contributions were critical in helping United reach the final against Chelsea in Moscow. In that final, Ronaldo scored a towering header to give United the lead. Although he missed his penalty in the shootout, his overall performances throughout the competition were enough to secure United their third Champions League trophy. Over the course of the 2007-2008 season, Ronaldo scored a total of 42 goals in all competitions, a mind-blowing total for a winger. His performances didn't go unnoticed as he was awarded the PFA Player of the Year, and most importantly, the 2008 Ballon d'Or. He became the first Manchester United player to win the prestigious award since George Best in 1968, solidifying his place as the best player on the planet. But it wasn't just the numbers that defined Ronaldo's greatness during this season, it was the way he played. Ronaldo had evolved from a winger with flashy tricks to a complete footballer. His tactical intelligence, positioning, and ability to influence the game from both wings and central positions made him a unique attacking force. Sir Alex Ferguson gave Ronaldo the freedom to roam across the pitch, allowing him to find space and exploit defenses in new ways. His physicality, combined with his skill, meant he could outmuscle defenders and create scoring opportunities from nothing. In addition to his technical and tactical evolution, Ronaldo's fitness levels were extraordinary. His pace and stamina allowed him to play at a high intensity for the full 90 minutes, game after game. He pressed from the front, tracked back when needed, and was always a threat in the final third. His work ethic was unmatched, and it was this relentless drive to improve that turned him into the complete player. The combination of Ronaldo's goal-scoring ability, his leadership on the pitch, and his individual brilliance was instrumental in Manchester United's success that season. Alongside Wayne Rooney and Carlos Tevez, Ronaldo formed one of the most fearsome attacking trios in Europe. United's counter-attacking style was perfectly suited to Ronaldo's skill set, 
and the chemistry between him, Rooney and Tevez was evident in the way they tore apart defenses both domestically and in Europe. Off the pitch, Ronaldo's influence grew as well. His incredible performances caught the attention of football fans worldwide, and his marketability soared. Young players across the globe began to idolize him, mimicking his free-kick stance, his stepovers, and his commitment to fitness. Ronaldo was not just a player, he was becoming a global icon. The 2007-2008 season was a turning point in Ronaldo's career. It was the year he went from being a highly rated talent to becoming the best player in the world. His success that season laid the foundation for what would come next, a world record transfer to Real Madrid in 2009, where he would go on to break countless records and win multiple Champions League titles. But it was at Manchester United, during that unforgettable 2007-2008 campaign, where Ronaldo truly became a superstar. His combination of individual brilliance and team success made him an unstoppable force in world football. Cristiano Ronaldo's 2007-2008 season wasn't just a career highlight, it was a turning point in the world of football. He had transformed from a talented prospect into the best player on the planet, winning the Ballon d'Or and leading Manchester United to a Premier League and Champions League double. What made Ronaldo so special was his ability to deliver in the biggest moments, in the toughest games. His work ethic, drive and relentless pursuit of perfection made him not just a great player, but a football legend. And while he would go on to break countless records in the years that followed, it was this season that set the stage for his incredible journey. The 2007-2008 season will forever be remembered as the year Cristiano Ronaldo became unstoppable. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Ronaldo's rise to greatness, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more football stories and analysis. Until next time, stay tuned for more legendary moments in football history. It's 35 yards more. Too far for Ronaldo to think about it. No!